Welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. Steve here with a playthrough of City Skylines, the board game. This board game is all about building up a city. It's based upon the popular video game. I'll teach you how to play, and I'll have a special guest, my wife, join me on this playthrough. So sit back and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's set up City Skylines. The first step is to grab the game board pieces. The number of game board pieces that come with the game. And we're gonna choose four of these randomly. So I'm gonna choose, uh, let's say, let's this one. Let's put the water over here. Um, a, let's put the water down there. And then, um, let's see, maybe we'll put, ooh, let's put this big one with water right here in the middle. That'll make it kind of interesting. And then finally, let's put another piece right here. Okay, we'll lay those out and that'll be the start of the game board. And now let's set up the other components. The next part. If your workforce is balanced or not. And then you have this area down here to keep track of your pollution, your traffic, and your crime. Last but not least, you have this gray area down here, which is the city treasury, and you would place $12 in there. The space in the middle of this resource track keeps track of your happiness for that milestone. But you will also need to construct this city skyline, which will keep track of your overall happiness for the whole game. So at some point, you will transfer happiness from your track to this ultimate scoreboard. You also need to lay out some piles of all the tiles in the game. There will be residential tiles, industrial tiles, and commercial tiles. There are also service tiles, service buildings like fire, police, and parks, utility buildings, and then we're playing with the module to include unique buildings as well, as we'll be showing you the full game in this version of the playthrough. With that, I think we're ready to start playing. I will give out the first player marker to either myself or my wife, and deal each of us a roll card for this, and we'll start the game. So Kim is joining me now, and we're gonna talk about our role. So I chose to be the marketing expert. So this role lets me, when I play a residential, commercial, industrial building, and I can't benefit from using the combo, and I'll show what that means later, I get an extra dollar. Cool, hi everyone, and I am the architect. So if I build a service building, I pay one less dollar. Okay, we'll start playing. I will be first player, so I'll grab this chirp token to indicate first player. Or as Steve just called it, a fish. Yeah, I couldn't see from <laughs> far away. So, <laughs> and we'll start playing. And I'll show you the turn card, just to get an idea how this works. So on your turn, you will be playing a card almost all the time. So what we'll do is we'll deal out five cards to each of us. And most of the time you'll be playing a construction card. Uh, so all you'll need to do about that is pay the cost up top here. For example, this card, I would pay one water and gain one workforce, and I can lay down a green tile. And it could be any green tile I want, any shape, size, doesn't matter. And then this bottom section below this arrow is the bonus part. If I happen to have a medical building in the same district or potentially next to it, I will gain a dollar. So a lot of this game is trying to balance paying for resources and gain those bonuses. So what I mentioned earlier about my role, if I do play this card and I'm not able to benefit from, the, from this bottom action, I get $1 anyway, so that's kind of nice. The second thing you can do is you can exchange a card. So that means set a card aside into this, I don't know, shared, shared zone. We can keep them from, from milestone to milestone. We need to pay $2 to do that. I don't find that particularly useful. We probably won't be doing much in this playthrough, but that's an option. Maybe that's why we lose. Because <laughs> we don't do that. And the last thing you can do is ending the milestone. And this is ultimately how you trigger the end game. To do so, you need to have at least one building in each zone, and then you can trigger the end of the milestone. And what that's gonna mean is you go through and update your resource tracks, and then you can start on another milestone. And you saw at the beginning of the game, I laid out four map tiles. Each of those is a milestone. So at the end of the game, if we complete the fourth one, and we have at least two buildings in every zone, we can trigger the end of the game and do final scoring. 
So you can lose the game in a number of different ways. You can lose the game if you need to play a card and you cannot. That can happen if you need to move a marker down to a red zone on the resource track and you have no more space on that track. Or if you need to spend money and you don't have any money left. If a player cannot do any action whatsoever, you lose the game. Or if the happiness drops to minus 5 or the overall happiness drops to minus 10, we lose the game as well. Okay, with that said, I'll show you my hand. Let's get started. So to start the game, we need to purchase a milestone. And so what we do, we can look at these four tiles and pick which one we want to buy. And the cost of it is printed with the number of dollar signs next to the letter. So it's probably best to start with tile F to start because it's cheapest and we can keep our money for playing other cards. So let's go with that route. So all you need to do is take the tile and flip it over. Make sure that the water and everything stays in the same spot. And then we'll just spend that $1 for my treasury. Okay, now to figure out what we're going to play. I'm starting. So I have a dog park in my hand. This card's kind of nice. It costs $1. Drops our pollution by 2 and lets me drop down the park tile. This is one of those tiles that's very useful for tricking your bottom abilities. In fact, one of the other cards in my hand is a residential zone. And this one says if I have a park next to it, I'll get two more happiness. So I kind of want to make sure I play those together at some point. Now the, the bad thing is if I play the dog park now, I won't be able to leverage that pollution drop. So maybe we can find some card to dump for pollution. Do you have a pollution card by chance, Kim? I do, but I want a fire station first or a library. I could give us a lot of trash, but that's not what you asked. No, that's not going to help, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't have either of those buildings. I do have uh, two other cards, uh, two residential zones and one commercial zone. These aren't very exciting, but... Well, but if you play the commercial zone, I have this residential card that would give me a happiness bonus Ooh. that I could play on my turn if you're not too sure about your first move. I like that. That seems pretty good to me. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll show you how that works. All I'm going to do is play this commercial card. And so it says to spend one trash, so I'll drop our trash market by one. I'll drop a workforce by one. And it says to increase traffic by one, so I increase traffic by one. By one. Now the bomb section has this symbol, kind of looks like a, almost like an L. It means district. So when I drop this commercial zone into one of these areas here, an area is defined by anything that's surrounded by uh, streets or water. If it shares a zone, then I'll get the bonus down here, which is two additional dollars. Obviously, because this is a first building, there are no industrial zones in there. So I'm just going to choose a tile here and I'll choose... Uh, let's grab let's grab this guy here, this, this L shape. I'll drop it in the corner. And now I don't get the bonus because obviously no industrial buildings. However, someone's a marketing expert. I am. So because of my special ability, we will get one dollar. Overloaded. So I grab an extra dollar, add it to our tre treasury. And so that's gonna be my turn. After I play a card, I draw a card. And I can draw a card from any of those three stacks. So I'm gonna draw a level two card. Mm, oh, oh, actually, sorry. Oh, way to go. Way to go. We're playing with all the modules. <laughs> and sometimes God. we run into events like this one. So apparently there are not enough workers. Whenever our workforce drops and is below zero, we lose happiness. But because I drew an event card, I'll draw another card to replace it. And I draw this residential zone card. Okay, so this uh, event, unfortunately, is going to stay in play until we complete the milestone or another event comes out. You know what I mean? In, oh, you mean complete the milestone as and flip another tile? Exactly. Okay. Okay, well, my plan is still okay in the sense that I can play this residential card and that's fine. Um, so we'll take one energy, gain a population, get a little bit more traffic, but we get a happiness because there's commercial in the district, which I am putting this over here for some... <laughs> Somewhere over here. Hold on. Let's let's just stick this guy back here. Okay. And the, the district doesn't mean you have to be touching, but as long as you're in the same area, you're okay. Some cards require you to touch, other ones don't. But yeah, so draw that. And what card would you like to replace it? Um, oh, I forgot to give us one happiness. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I, I think I'll take the level two because you drew that. It shouldn't be bad luck twice, right? Yeah. Okay, so I just drew this policies card, which is um, various different actions that just gives you a result, and you just do it. So, 
So basically, instead of having to place something down on the board, you can spend the money to get the effect. And that one is to increase or improve our waste management. Yes. By banning smoking. In public. Yep. Okay, so cool. We got some happening starting. Or we're doing okay on our finances. I don't have any trash I can manage to leverage that. Do you need a medical clinic or do you have a fire station or a library? I could use a medical clinic. Okay, I can play that, but you need to play a card first. I do need to play a card first. Okay, I have a good card. I can drop down, ooh, maybe. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'm gonna drop down this residential zone. I drew the level two. It's gonna cost us one water. Increase our workforce by one. And then I get to put this green zone somewhere, almost anywhere. But if I put it in the same district here, we'll get two additional dollars. I think I'll try to do that. So looking through the tiles here. Um, well, that's awkward. That is very awkward. <laughs> Let's not do that one. I'm already awkward enough. Oh, that doesn't work either. Okay. Maybe, the little... Maybe this guy? Is that guy okay? Sure, I'll stick a medical building in the middle. You think so? Well, it might be better over here because we can flush out in that direction. That's true. That's so true. one thing to consider is we're talking about here is when we flip this tile, most likely this district and whatever we flip over here will be connected. So then we can leverage that benefit of that medical building in multiple areas Hopefully. or a wider area, I should say. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I guess I'll draw level one card. Yeah. Yeah. We need so I draw industrial one. Okay, so now I will play that medical building. So we spend a dollar and gain a happiness. Spend a dollar, gain and happiness. This little, you know, I want easy access for many people right there on the corner. Well, if you put it in the middle, because this one we do have to touch might be oh. better, better for us. Good so point. Good point. So I'm just going to stick it like randomly over here, back here, right there. So there's a little bit different on the level one tiles. You'll see on here that there's no no district symbol, but on the other tiles, when you get into level two and three, they have a district icon on them. That means that tile or that service building is functional for the whole district. So because this does not have that symbol, it means we have to put buildings next to these level ones. So that's my suggestion, put it towards the edge of this, because like I said, if we flip this other milestone, we may be able to leverage that. However, we did forget something already. And that is oh, your special yeah. ability. Because I'm an architect. <laughs> because you're an architect. I pay one less. Can I put the money back? Yes, we get okay. our money back. <laughs> so. That was free. Okay. So. And then uh, you get to draw a card. What would you like? Um, level one. Where are these utilities? Yep. For utilities. Okay, so I think... Let's see. We really I... want to go for happiness. Do you have a park? I do have a park in my hand. I could play it. But we also could it does give us happiness oh. no you just had a you wanted me to play that medical <laughs> building go ahead okay so i'm gonna play this residential zone so it's gonna drop our water again by one increase our workforce by one and then i can put this zone let's see what guy can i use maybe it's kind of awkward but it does work yeah that works okay i'll put it there and now net us one dollar so we'll add one more dollar to our treasury I'll draw another card, and I think I'll draw a level one card. So when we flip the milestone, the negative utilities takes away happiness, or does that take away money? It takes away happiness. Okay, so we need to find those service buildings. Or we utilities. need to find utility buildings, That's yes. Right. Yes, yep. utilities. You do have a policy, which is nice, but I think if we could, if I laid down my dog park, I can give us a nice boost in our happiness. Okay, I can get a lot of money. So if there's some way you can help negate some of these utilities, because I won't be spending any more of them, hopefully. I can I can really just do trash. Okay. The and other then, thing to keep in mind is you do have util the policy cards you draw. You can only play those during the current milestone. If you, at the end of the milestone, you do have to discard them from your hand. So Yes, which is why I want to play that one now. So two money. Spend two money. And two. And increase our two. waste management by two. All right, I'm gonna pull a level one card. Okay, so we could continue on to the next milestone potentially right now. 
But if we do that, we'll take a hit. Because like I said, one thing we haven't talked about yet is when you do move our next milestone, for every utility icon that's below the zero, we'll lose happiness. So right now we'll lose one, two, three happiness. So we'd be negative happiness. After we'd be negative time. happiness. That's, that's great. <laughs> that's not ideal. So I think I'm going to buy some more time by building a dog park. That is going to spend one dollar. It wouldn't normally drop a pollution by two, but unfortunately, we're not going to use that this this time. But I'm going to lay this down because I want to leverage that to get us some more happiness to offset that negative effect that we're likely going to come into. So I think I'll take this park and I'll put it towards the edge here in case we need to build next to it. Okay. In fact, actually, I do need to build next to it for one of my buildings. So do I, but I'm going to get three money. What are you going to get? Two happiness. Oh, so can you move that to like... Out, so we can build both build uh, yeah we want to put it like in the middle here or something sure um it's not really yeah like that would, yeah okay let's do that all right discard that and i'll draw another card excellent i drew a utility building so oh, that's good. gonna help us a ton stick that in that weird middle spot <laughs> yeah all right um i will play a commercial zone next to the park to get three money and so it's going to cost us one workforce, two crime. And then because you build next to that, you get $3. Nice. Yep. $3 to the treasury. Okay, I will draw level two. Okay. Ew. Yes. Yes. Good card. It's another commercial zone, but it's um, if I can build between the hospital and the park for money and a happiness. Wow, that's pretty good. Um. So let me figure out how I can get, I just need to build next to the park. So I can leave that space open for you most likely. Let's see if this works. If you can build by the street. Let me try to, let's try to build this guy. So it's going to increase our workforce by one. Our crime's going up. Our traffic's going up. So that's a, not very good. But I want to lay down something here for the green area. So let me see. I can do maybe, not ideal, but that kind of works. Is that going to help? No, too awkward. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. There's got to be awkward. something better. Maybe like this guy here? Okay. A little less awkward, maybe? Sure. Okay, so the nice thing about that, we'll get two happiness from it. And then I will draw a level one card, and I draw just industrial zone. Not too exciting. So, okay. What do you want to do? Okay, well, I have a few choices. So I have an elementary school, which is a dollar for one happiness. Um, but again, it would just be one happiness because... I'm an architect. I have a w landfill. Well, I mean, look. So if I did... The landfill we don't really need because we do have our yeah, waste so management above zero. I think we're fine. But if I do the elementary school, I could then do this industrial zone and get more money. I don't think we need money right now. I think we just need happiness. Are we okay if I bump up our traffic again? Yeah, it's not ideal, but we're okay. okay. Is it going to give us happiness? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do this level two commercial zone. Drop the workforce, increase traffic. Let me make traffic. sure I can place it where I need it first. Okay. Um, well, you got plenty of room. I, I think so. Yeah, you can make it work. Oh, dear. Let's not throw buildings around. <laughs> Hulk smash. That's, oh, my God. I was just going to say that. What is wrong with us? <laughs> okay, so we need, um, what did I say, four money and a happiness. I'll give it the happiness here and a uh, dollar to get a five dollar. So we have a ton of money now. That's awesome. What car would you like? We need water. I'm going to find it in level one. Okay, level I have one. Low confidence. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Wait, no, it's okay. It's a firehouse. Okay. So on my turn, I've got a pretty obvious play. I want to play this wind turbine. It's going to cost us $3. So I'll spend $3 out of that. And the important thing about these utility buildings are you can only place one in a district. And so you have to be careful what you do with it. So because I'm placing a wind turbine, um, probably right here, I guess. That's perfect. Um, we cannot place any of the utility buildings here, regardless if it's waste management, water, or power. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. But the nice thing is we increase our power by three, one, two, three, and now we're out of the red there. So now if we move on, we're only losing two happiness. That's, oh, that's better. It is better, but I think maybe I can play the firehouse for free. But get... I'm gonna draw this card. Oh, I forgot. Boom! Water. Okay. Excellent. I'll be patient. But um, I need space for it. 
Oh, sad face. <laughs> so you have to leave this open for me. Okay, I won't go there. I could put the, this firehouse just to get happiness right over here. And then sure. if needed, down the line, I have this industrial cart. I can throw a building next to it. That's fine. Okay. So this will be a free building because I'm an architect. So one happiness and a wee little fire station will go like awkwardly over here. Cool. That works. And then I'll draw from level two. Level two card. Okay. And then my play is pretty obvious. I'm definitely going to play that water tower. So I'm going to play this guy. It's going to cost us $3 to build it. I'll spend three money. And then let's see. I hope this guy fits. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Right there in the corner. So nice thing is we increase our water by three. One, two, three. And now we're on the positive. The only bad thing is we'll have to spend a dollar for our workforce, but I'm totally fine with that. Let me Do draw you... a level two card. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I don't want to play that either. Okay. Yeah, I'm good and moving on. I think we're okay to move on to the next milestone. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, so since we're going to move on to the next milestone, let me show you what happens. So how this works is when you end a milestone, you'll look at your utility. For everyone that's below zero, you'll lose one happiness. And then any remaining happiness you have on that track will transfer to that big uh, Skyline scoreboard I showed you earlier. You don't reset the happiness, you just transfer it. So the goal is to get as much happiness as you can move the next milestone because it will just accumulate from there. And then for your workforce, if you're not at zero, you will have to spend $1 to offset the workforce imbalance. So we're definitely gonna do that here. And then you can exchange cards. Um, so that's an option there. And you can exchange cards at $1 less during this part of the phase. And then we'll need to buy a new milestone. So we'll have to choose a new tile to flip over by paying the cost and then we can continue playing. The other thing to keep in mind is when you flip over a new milestone, you can still build on any previous milestones. Just adds more options for you. Okay, so let's march down that. So the nice thing about our utilities are all above zero, so we don't have to lose any happiness there. So we can take this value of six and look at our big skyline board and can move this marker all the way up to six, which is really awesome. I'm happy with that. And we do not reset this. Look down here, we're workforce unbalanced off by one, so we need to spend one dollar. Then down here, we don't have to worry about it yet. At the end of the game, this will become a problem. Also, we can't go past the last part of this track, so that will limit our ability to play cards, and we can't counteract that. We can now pay for development costs to flip over a new tile. So now we have a choice, what we want to do. We can only flip over a milestone that's adjacent to our existing milestones. So we have the option of flipping A or C, but not B. So A only costs $2, C costs $3. Unfortunately, A is across the water, so we can't leverage any of our buildings here. But C costs more, but it's also adjacent to our building. So what do you want to do? How much money? We have $10? We have $10. Big spender, let's do C. Big spender? I'm okay with that. <laughs> so we'll spend $5, or sorry, $5, get two back, to get that cost of three. And then just like before, Flip the tile over, make sure the water stays in the same spot, and then uh, we can keep playing. Now, important thing to mind, keep in mind is when you buy a new milestone, any existing events you have are discarded, so now we don't have to worry about this guy. Luckily, we're able, we were able to avoid it. And any policies you have in your hand, Kim had one policy she drew, but she had to play, so she would have to discard it if she didn't. But we're good there, and we can start up again. Now, because Kim ended the milestone, she gets the chip card or the fish as i called it earlier for some odd reason and yeah, she can start her turn so i have a few options to play um there's a few industrial zones but they raise crime quite a bit and i'm not comfortable with that then i have an elementary school could you use that um i could use it okay. yeah I'm also thinking, too, because we're in a pretty decent state now, if we can move quickly to the next milestone, that won't be so bad. I don't disagree. I just am trying to play cards that will not kick us in the behind later. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's why I don't really want to play these industrial cards, because they'd kick up our crime. And I don't have means of fixing any of that stuff right now. I do not have a way of fixing it either. So I'm thinking, oh, I could play this residential card. We spend an electric electricity and a trash and we get two happiness if i put it in one of the places that has two residencies 
Or I play the elementary school and then you can get a bonus. If you play the... Well, it'll increase our traffic. We'll just max that out. If I play that card that gives us the money from the uh, the school. Oh. I don't oh, know if we... Yeah. We really need to get some way to get that down, so... Okay. I will just play this <laughs> residential card. Okay. Um, It can go in either spot, but I think I'm going to put it... I would put it in the big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Sure. That's good. So you got to spend uh, the resources there, the power. Yeah. Power, trash, happiness. Yep. You got the bonus. And then what card would you like to replace it? Number two. Oh, I have a unique building, which we'll get to. Um, this is City Hall. So if I build a service building in this district, I pay a dollar less. <laughs> Copy the combos with your ability. So would I gain a dollar? No, no, no. You just don't get... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's nice for the bigger service buildings, but not the okay. weak ones. Okay. So what these unique buildings are, they don't cost any resources, but here's an example of one of them. They're quite large tiles and honestly some awkward shapes in there. So you do have to count for them. But the nice thing about it is if you want to fill a district and move on a milestone, that's a really awesome way of doing so. So I have some options. I could lay down a fire station, which could help in other districts. So it'll give us some happiness too. But it is going to spend our money, and I kind of I'm a little worried about being able to move on to the next milestone. So what we could do is, if there's some way, if I can drop down the fire station in one of these districts, you drop down unique building the other one, and then we just need to fill the third one with anything, then we can move on at that point to the next milestone. I'm cool with that. So the goal is to not drop any of our utilities any further so we don't lose that offset. And, but we need money. The problem is I don't have a lot of choices for that. My fire station is going to cost me $3 because I'm not a cool architect like you are. How much yeah. money do we have? We have $7? We have $7. We need at least $2. Ideally $4, but... How do we need $2? We need $2 to flip the, the milestone A over. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, and we have to think about a workforce too, because if a workforce is not at zero, we have to pay that offset. So we've got I a can, lot of things to think about. I can get our workforce to zero, but I will max out our crime rate. Yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it totally is a problem. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably not ideal. Play what? Okay. I'll, the, what I wouldn't play is the fire station, so I think I'll play right, that. Right. So I'm going to play the fire station. It costs us three of our precious dollars, unfortunately. So we only have two dollars left. No, we have four dollars left. Oh, I can't do math. Four dollars left. <laughs> so I'll drop this fire station. And it's a district-wide fire station, which is really nice. So maybe I'll just put it up here in the corner. So it doesn't matter where I put it. Sure. So we do and get I, one happiness I from did that. Our happiness, yes. Thank you. And I think I'll draw from the level one, hoping to get a uh, service building, maybe police. Nope. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to play an elementary school for free just to gain happiness. Nice. And that will be like over here. Yeah, in the middle because you might have to build next to it maybe. That's fine. You pick. I don't feel comfortable there. Choose wisely. <laughs> and then did you give us happiness? I did, yes. I'm not, I think I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know if you did. I'm going to draw level three. Ooh, exciting there. Oh, I can get us money. Yeah, we need that. We need a police station. We definitely need a police station for the crime and the traffic. So now I'm in a little bit of predicament. Well, actually not too bad. Um, I do have a residential zone I can play. I can play it in the district with the fire station to give us additional happiness. So that's pretty nice. And it's not going to drop our numbers down too low, but it is going to increase our workforce by one, which, uh, which is the bad part. So yeah, because we only have $4. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. But the point is nice. Otherwise, I can play something else. What else? Um, unfortunately, I can play something like this, this commercial zone. I could put it in this district, give us additional $2 for doing it, but it will max out our traffic. It will set our workforce to zero. 
Go for it. That's not a bad we'll idea. We'll just work. People just have to walk. <laughs> you just have to walk? Okay. Okay, so maybe we'll try that one. And then maybe you can drop a unique building here. Sure. That won't be, be so bad. So, yeah, I'll play this guy, the commercial zone. So, I need to touch this hospital somehow because it's a level one hospital. That's going to cover it up completely. Let's try something not as. That's not bad. Not as drastic. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so then we. And then we get two more dollars. I'll draw a level one. Excellent. Police station. Oh, good. But traffic's more of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I'll take what I can get. Um, I'm going to play City Hall. We won't really gain too much from it. Where Where is that building? Here it is. I'll just put it back here. Jeez, it's so huge. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does take the whole thing. So the other thing about playing these cards is it's good to keep these unique building cards out. Uh, the other cards you can use is discard and redraw. But these these ones obviously have special abilities, which will affect the whole game. So we build a silver building in here. It costs one less, which I might take advantage of that, actually. Hold on one second. I need to draw a card. I'm going to do level two. Okay. Not helpful. So now, what do we have for money? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six dollars. I think we should just flip B. You think so? Unless you have some crazy great move. Nope, I think <laughs> that's probably okay. Well, <laughs> nope, <laughs> nothing over here. Nothing over here. No, that's probably okay. Okay. I just hope we can get money. I'm worried about that because I can get money. Can you get money? Well, and I'm... I can raise crime. Well, I can drop crime. Okay. So maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, flip B. Then okay. We'll, then we'll just, you know. So I will choose to trigger the end of the milestone on my actions. I'll be first player. So we'll have to go through the steps again. So looking at this board here, nice thing is our utilities are all up, so we don't lose any happiness. We look down at this board, we got 10 happiness, which is awesome. So looking at our overall board, move this marker up to 10. So we're doing pretty good there. We've got 16 total happiness. Workforce is at zero, don't have to spend any money there, which is great. And now we can buy a milestone. And you want to spend the big one? Sure. Okay. So now we'll flip over the big guy here. And we get this area unlocked to us. So I added it, so I'll get the chip, aka the fish as I call it. Okay. Can you not do that joke again? Why? <laughs> because it's what, three times? <laughs> three times. Okay, so now I need to play a card. I'm going to take advantage of Kim's city hall she built. Drop down a police station. This would normally cost me one dollar, but because I will build it in the city hall location, it's free for me. So and I there's, there's no way you could put that where there's a fire station, though. Um, I because could because I could play a commercial zone in it and get seven dollars. Um, yeah, which is better than saving a dollar. Done. I was worried about the money, so I was going to do that. But yeah, that's way better. So I'll put it there instead. Spend a dollar, and we'll drop our crime by two. So, police station's there, and I'll draw a level one card. Okay, so here's the commercial zone, but I have to touch the police station. Yes, you do. So I'm just I'm pretty much gonna wipe that whole spot out. Well, it's okay, just the police station. They can still use the fire station, the district-wide. So I'll drop our workforce, increase, oh, you can't play this card. What, oh, Traffic. no. Well, I kind of messed you up, didn't I? Yep, you did. But guess what? I drew a bus station on my last turn, so you just have to wait a turn and I can help. Okay. So play um, something that doesn't make us lose. <laughs> no pressure. Um, I can do the landfill. Oh, yep, landfill would be good. Okay. How much does it cost, though? Three dollars. No. Yeah, we don't have the money. Can't play landfill. It would be two dollars for me. How much? We have a dollar? It's service buildings only for you, not utility oh. buildings. Those are two different things. Oh. So here's our discussion. I have these two industrial cards. One will raise crime by two. The other will do workforce down by two. So which way do you want it to go? I kind of think workforce. Because I think we could get residential cards more easily. I do have a residential card I want to play. So that's probably fine. Okay. So you think about playing this guy here? Yes. And getting that money boost? Yes. I'm going to put a industrial zone around the library 
No, that's weird. That's awkward as well. That's okay. So you're playing this card here. Mm -hmm. This one's back to your hand. Yeah. So spend two workforce. Uh, this goes up by one. Pollution. And yeah, pollution goes up by one, and crime goes up, and then we get four dollars, which we desperately need. Just made it rain over there. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm what, gonna draw, like to draw a level three card. I shouldn't. I should stop drawing these. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough utilities. Well, I'm gonna drop down a bus station, I think, to help with that traffic. This normally costs a dollar, but I think I'm going to this time, unless you say otherwise, take advantage of the city hall. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So that'd be free, and that's going to drop our traffic by two, and that'll be my play. I'll draw a level two card to replace it. Oh, new event. Whenever a commercial is built in a district, when there are no industrial buildings, oh, lose two money. Son of a gun. Does that hurt you? Yes, because I was going to play that fancy commercial zone card. How much money does it net us? Seven. So we would net us only five. five. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's still good. Yeah, that's my best option. So we will put a commercial zone. Which is blue. That's Yes, thank you. Should I just kind of wipe, take that whole corner out? Might as well. Well, someone can like nip the edge there. I don't know if we, the only thing that can fit there is a residential. Are the, are the only pieces that have a one skinny piece. So it's not really worth it. Okay. So I'll, I'll just fill it up. All right. Boom. Boom. Okay. So workforce down, traffic up, seven minus two is five. Cool. Five dollars. And you build it next to those, both of those. So you got it. Cool. Yeah. What car would you like if you replace it? Level two. Backpedal a bit. More garbage. Why am I the garbage woman? <laughs> Okay, I kind of think, oh, we need residential. We do need residential. Start filling up those other districts with residential. Yeah, though I do have a card that gives me happiness. Oh, oh actually. Yeah, we do. Ooh, That's ooh. the point. We need money? I don't think we need money. I, like you said, I think we need to do happiness and get our workforce back up. Okay, this one seems pretty good because you just drew that waste management. So I'm going to play this card here, this residential zone. It's going to drop our waste management by one, increase our workforce by one. And then if our workforce is less than zero, which it currently is, we get $2. So oh. I'm going to place this guy. I can place it anywhere, really. Um, let's put a, let's go one of these big awkward pieces. What do you think? Like that? Sure. Cool. Okay, and I'll draw a level two card to replace it. Cool. Okay. Okay. So I have a small landfill or a medium landfill, $3 or $4. We've got some options. So you cannot build any utilities in either of these two districts. So it'd be one of those two, this, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, one of those five districts you can build. I in. will stick it <coughs> for this point away from me, right next to the water. So it leaches and <laughs> <You're the worst. laughs> that um, I'll do the big one for now. Okay, so it costs four dollars. One, two, three, four dollars. And where do you want to put that guy? I'm serious, right? Right, way, right yes, here, way corner? over there in the corner. Okay, and then that's going to increase our waste management by four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. That's not bad. Okay, I need some residential people. Where are you taking two or three? Two. Okay. I'm, gosh. Well, I got another police station. Which isn't bad. So, looking at the board state right now, we can advance to the next milestone. Question is, do we want to? We'd pay a penalty of two dollars because we're a workforce. I don't. Oh, have, that's true. A workforce. I don't have any residential. I have an amazing card I'm gonna play. Okay. Maybe not amazing, amazing, but I like. Yeah, I know you're setting the bar pretty high. <laughs> so, play this residential. Drop our power by one. Increase our workforce by one. So, getting closer, right? I mean, it's a it's a good card. And the nice thing is, I put it here, card. right? Right, get it, get happiness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe Bueller. Bueller. Um. So let's draw maybe that guy there. Yeah, nice. You know, street size. Is that apartment. is that okay, architect? 
Yeah, I'm not a city planner. I just okay. make buildings. <laughs> so I'll move this up to 11. It's got the bonus, and I will draw another level 2 card. Okay, I'm going to build a... Oh, I don't want to do that. I was going to do this police station, this level 2 police station. which drops our crime by 3. Ooh, that's nice. But I kind of want to increase my crime first. I have a card to increase crime. Okay, so... So do I. <laughs> How much are you going to increase you, crime? Uh, by one. Do, can you can you uh, in, uh, increase our power by one by chance? No, I can consume it. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, here here's what I got. Just keep it. We're just going to lay that out. Lay it out. Lay it out. Lay it okay. out. So let me flip it around so we can read it. Um. So what do you? So this is isn't bad. That's not bad. And then we'll be maxed out on crime, and then I will come in and swoop out three crime, and then we could flip it. We do drop our workforce by one, though. Yeah. So we're only netting two money. Eh, it's okay. That I won't get so this, any benefit from. No, I don't want to play that card. No, that's bad. This one you could play, but then we're going the wrong way in the workforce. Mm -hmm. Man. And then I'm in the garbage in the policewoman. Yeah. So I'm and leaning towards that first industrial card. Because we still get two money. I'm just waiting to draw a residential card. But the bad thing is you're dropping our workforce. If you don't do that, I can get our workforce to zero. And then we flip it and try to keep moving forward. Yeah. That's what I'm leaning towards. Because really we want to get as much happiness as possible to just add to that accumulation. So we don't really... Our money situation is okay. Did, isn't that just giving you happiness? No. That's why I think the best option is that uh, yeah. first industrial card. I mean, otherwise I play the trash and just spend money, or I play the cops and we lose out on one of the reduction. Yeah, I think you're right, because you do have the police station to drop that that crime rate. Yeah. So, okay, I'm with you. All right. So, is this the... That, that's what I'm doing. This card you want? Glad I have your approval. <laughs> okay. Um, it's going to be... Where do you want to put that guy? I, it has to be... In a fire station place. So I actually might put it like back in the OG spot. Way over here. Why over there? You can put it over here. This is a district wide fire station. Oh, yeah. And then people might want the industry. Yeah. So, okay. Um, let's just so take... let's go spend the. You drop the workforce, increase the pollution, increase, increase the crime. crime, and then just shove this thing. Doesn't fit. Okay. Whoops. Earthquake. Oh, man. Hulk splash. Again, Steven. Is that good? That seems weird to me. Is that seems better? not good. What's this guy? I guess it's there. Okay, do that. Kind of. Got this weird jet thing going on, but whatever. <laughs> so you get $4. What? Okay, so... So what card would you like? Level 2. There's got to be a residential card in here. Oh, man. So I have another unique building. This is the sea and skyscraper at the end of the milestone. First card is changed, but each player is free. Not useful. Okay, but honestly, not useful for the way we play. <laughs> right. <laughs> there are probably people that play this game that like, oh, that's such a great benefit. This is why you guys are, you know, not always scoring super high. <laughs> that's probably true. Well, I don't know. Okay, so, hmm. Got some options here. I think it's just because I'm a natural hoarder of cards of cards yeah yeah you don't want to play them man i wish there was another blue commercial but oh i can play this guy here i thought you Do had you... one that would increase the crime one and give us happiness um kind of so this is the card i was thinking about playing drop a power by one increase crime by one but there's no two blue districts because you put that yellow one down there before we were talking. I was thinking about something else. What about this right here? Or we're there. You're right. <laughs> yeah. This is why you're here. <laughs> the bad thing is that power's down by one, so it kind of offsets the happiness a little bit if we progress oh. on. Yeah, no. I. Do you have a better card that kind of uh, just keeps us where we're at? Or flip the thing. Right now? We have a lot of money. I guess I could potentially do that. I guess the question is, can you get any more happiness out? I This is the car that I can get some out. I do have another one, residential zone here. This requires a park, and unfortunately the only park is way over here, 
and it's not a district wide effect. So there's no way of me building next to it. So that card's kind of But you useless. get you're the marketing person. You still get a dollar. As <clears throat> well, yeah, I can still but get you a dollar, don't but I don't really you don't care about need the money. a money. I want the happiness. I don't have any happiness cards, so So I kind of think we just need to move forward. the only other thing is we can try to increase the workforce. We pay less money off on the offset. I don't have any residential cards. I do. It's your turn. Play the residential card. Yeah. Should I do that and just get one dollar? Increase crime all the way to the max? Yeah, and then I'll play the police station and then you can end it. So I'm spending, I'm getting a dollar. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. I'll play this res residential zone. Uh, I can put this guy almost anywhere. Does it make a difference to you where, by chance? Maybe just throw it down here in this, this spot. So, because the other thing to think about is we need to have two buildings in every district. And so we don't, we need to work Yeah, on those put, two. put one of them down there. Okay, so I'll just grab, it doesn't really matter what it is, to be honest. I'll put this guy down here. So we increase our workforce, increase our crime, and then I'm not getting the bonus on the bottom, but because I'm a marketing expert, I get a dollar anyway. So Yeah, and you sold those trash condos real quick. <laughs> Apparently I did. And I will draw a, let me draw a level three card. Oh man, big police headquarters. Awesome. Okay, so I was about to play the police headquarters. Did you want to play yours or? You can play yours. Mine drops it by four. What does yours drop it by? Three. Because I could play the sea and skyscraper. Ooh. Then you can play your headquarters and then I will end it. I like that. Let's do it. All right. So play the skyscraper building. So here's the tile. Yeah, just put it in with that residential. With this one here yeah. someplace? Okay. So, ugh. Just tuck it up in there, yeah. Like that? Sure. It's really bad. It's the same either way. Maybe you just put in the corner so we got a little strip. No? No. No one's going to be able to get in there. No. Like that. Oh, it, oh there, there we go. Okay. That's not okay. bad. That's, that's a choice. That's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So at the end of the milestone, the first card exchanged by each player is free. So that's the nice thing is we can store some cards if we need to for that. What card would you like to draw? I keep going level two, and there needs to be a green card in here. Okay. Gosh, it's a high school. Okay. Who shuffled? Did hey, you, I didn't shuffle these. I That's shuffled why. them. Oh, there you go. Hey, does high school give you happiness, though? Oh, it does. <laughs> and you pay for cheaper, right? I do. They so are boom. cheaper. They are cheaper. All right. Okay, so I'm going to lay down the police headquarters, the big one, the monster. So I'm not as special as you. Can't pay for cheaper, but I'll spend $5 for it. Pay for cheaper? Yeah, because you play your guys, your buildings for cheaper. Yeah, I know, architect. but I mean, words. Words are hard. Yeah. <laughs> so. Grammar. Uh, where should I put the police station? The headquarters. Does it uh, matter to you? We have a police station on there. Yeah, don't put it there. Put it, uh, oh, sure. It's for the district, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. This will connect over here. I can put it up here and connect it to this. It's one way or the other. That's fine. Okay, I'll put it there. And that's going to be nice because it drops our crime by four. Did so you pay them big one, money? Two, three, four. I did. Okay. And All then right. I will draw a level three card, I think. I know I said I was going to end it and we'll flip it over, but the next one's only two money and we'd have one penalty. And this high school will give us happiness and I would only pay two for it. Worth it? Yes. I'm going to put... The high school. So spend two money. I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have a card that uses high school, but just needs me in the district. I think I'm just going to shove it over here. Okay. Did you do the stuff? I did not give us happiness for that one, so we go up in happiness to twelve. What card would you like? Did you pay the money? I did. All right, check the video. No. Um. Yeah, I'm drawing blanks on the residentials, but I'm still doing it. Stubborn. Policy card. Ooh. What does that policy card do? Installation of recycling containers. So I pay two and we get two water, which isn't bad. You'll lose it if you don't spend it. I know. Can you play a card that kind of just doesn't hurt us? E -do 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 -do. Or helps us is really the best case scenario. I can get some that nullifies us, meaning I'll gain happiness, but we'll ultimately lose it too. Um, play a card that's going to. I can play. This card's kind of tempting. 
If I it'll drop our pollution by one, I'll drop our work worth by one, unfortunately. Increase our traffic, which is not good. But if I put it in a district with all one of each type, we'll get four dollars. So that's kind of interesting. So essentially you'd gain two dollars and we gain two water after I play this. Yeah, it doesn't really Is that worth it? It seems okay. Traffic is scaring me. Actually, yeah. The other thing I could do is I could play this guy here. It's industrial zone. Drop our workforce by one the wrong way. Increase more pollution. But because I do have a bus station here, we could get three dollars. Did the other one? Can so we're finish? netting one dollar. Did the other one also do pollution? Uh, it does not do pollution. Just trash. Just trash. That's a lot of pollution. Yeah. I think I kind of like the commercial zone better. I do have this one as well. So drop our workforce, increase pollution by a little bit, increase traffic to max, and then we get three dollars. So it nets us one. I don't have a lot of good choices. No. Maybe we just end it and I lose out on this water. Yeah, I'm kinda lean that way too. Yeah, okay. So okay, we'll do that. So we'll end the milestone. So looking at our board over here, good thing good news is we don't have any any utilities below zero. So we'll not drop our happiness any, and then we'll transfer all 12 happiness to our overall scoreboard here. So move this up two, to eight, move this up 10, to, to 20. So we have 28 points already. So doing great there. Because our, our offset and workforce has spent $1. And now we have to buy a milestone. So we have to do our last one here. So this can cost us $2 to flip it. Like that. Spend two dollars for that. Discard that event and I discard that policy. Yep, so both these go away and you get to take a new card in place of it. You know what? I'm doing level three. Okay, you take it. Alright, I have a lot of power now. Oil plant. Cool. Okay. And so I ended it. Let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, we can exchange cards for free. So if there's any cards you want to set aside, you can do that. I'm tempted to set aside my trash card and draw another one for free because right now i'm good on trash and i want more residential cards i don't have any of them oh you don't have any residential yeah because you can then later draw from the pile right that's correct so next time you draw a card you can draw from the exchange pile i'm gonna like to. and totally free right now right yeah now it's free for each of us normally it's not i'm going to set aside the landfill because okay. i think we're safe there for now i'm going to put it right here so you're going to set aside this landfill card, and we're doing pretty good on that. I think it's a good choice. I think I'm going to set aside a card too, and I'm trying to figure out what's the best one to do, because I'm worried about our traffic is high. So i got two cards to increase traffic. So i got a choice. I can either set aside this industrial zone or this commercial zone, because they both increase traffic. I'm thinking this one gives us a little more money. Keep that one. Sure. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so we'll set these two cards to exchange pile, and then we can draw our cards to replace it. Okay. What would you like for your card? I'm taking a two. Okay, I okay. think I'll take a, a two as well. Oh boy, event. You know you've drawn every single one of them. I have. Whenever crime rises, we lose happiness. Oh boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we can't get rid of it because it's the last milestone. Son unless we draw a new event. A biscuit. <laughs> I did draw a policy though with it. Uh, restrictions on keeping pets. So two dollars to drop our pollution by two. That's pretty good. So that's not bad. I drew an industrial zone, so not not what I wanted. And it's my turn. So let's see. We have three dollars in our treasury. Not a lot there. So we probably need to worry about getting some money right now. Do you by chance have a a, a medical building of some sort? Not in my hand. So I think it's the best bet I have. Do you need to play any cards with traffic on them? No. Okay. I think I'm gonna give some money. Is that, is that probably the best bet? Sure. Okay. Well, actually, we should also talk about the end of the game because we only need two buildings here in this corner to trigger the end of the game. That's true. And then so one thing that we want to keep in mind, though, is the pollution, traffic, and crime will take away happiness for each tick when we end the game, right? That's correct. Overall happiness. That's right. So 
We need to find more transportation, I think. And then you can use that policy card that you just got. But, you know, the risk is we linger on too long. We just dig ourselves a little grave. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm okay. So maybe maybe I'll play it safe for now. This gives a little boost of money. I'll play this industrial zone. It costs us one workforce, uh, two pollution. And then I will drop this guy into this. Let's see what guy I can put. This is not bad. Um, that doesn't fit. <laughs> that is bad, apparently. This guy will fit. Put him there, and then because it's next to that bus station, we'll get $3. So I'll do that. So now, now we're up to $6 in our treasury, and I'll draw a... Level three, level two card. Okay. Did you get any residential cards? I do. Good. I have an industrial zone that would hurt our trash, our pollution, and our workforce, but we get five money. But I don't know. I don't want to raise crime. Correct. Um, and we, I could buy an expensive power plant for five money to get five power but we don't really need it and then I have a three dollar police station for three crime the biggest risk we have right now is traffic which and we haven't seen the traffic service buildings in the level two or level three decks yet so I'm, a, I'm, I'm aware of that one yeah yeah so we want to keep focusing on one of those so would you I say I just play that card and then you have to do your super That's fine. card. So we can drop our trash by one, raise our mm, lower. Or lower, just kidding, wrong way. Increase our pollution by up one, and then where do you want to put that guy? I'm gonna just stick it over here. Okay. Five dollars. Okay, Good. level two. Come on. <laughs> Industrial card. Okay, so I think... That I cannot play because it raises pollution. Well, I'll fix that right now. It's my turn. I'll pay that. Spend $2 on this policy to... Restrictions on keeping pets to drop our pollution by two. And I'll draw a level two card. Oh, courthouse. If you build a service building in this district, you may move the marker one additional space for, for the corresponding bar. That is excellent. If we can only find a traffic thing. I know. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I have two industrial zone cards I can't play because, well, no, I can. I don't want to. One raises crime and pollution. The other raises pollution. I don't really want to play those. I kind of think we need to march towards endgame. I think so, too. So I could play this police station and get our crime to zero, and we can force ourselves to not play crime anymore. You could. Or I play... This power plant, we get five power. Are you going to be spent using power? Five power is good. Okay. Let's do that one. All right. So is that... It's going to cost you $5 to, to play it. Is it? Yep, because it's a utility building, non-service building. Right. And, and then you can put the... that... Remember, you can only have one utility building in each district. So, so putting, this guy, I'm this I'm guy's are off. over here because we need buildings over here. Well, that's a good idea. And then you get five power. Sweet. And then what card would you like? There's got to be stuff in level two. Okay, I have a government office. At the end of the milestone, reduce pollution, traffic, or crime by one space. That's so excellent. I'm going to play that next turn. Okay, I'm going to drop down this courthouse. So this courthouse is quite large, but let's see. How oh, can I put it? I want to put it in this big area, because every time we build a service building here, we'll get a... We can drop it even more. Um, man. I was stuck in that corner. Okay. Draw a level two card. Oh, cemetery. This is a medical building. Hey, happiness. So I get some happiness for that. I want that card over here. Okay. You can play the government, courthouse. Government office. Oh, just kidding. I can't read. Yes. Um, We'll put it near the power plant. The power plant? Where you... Over here? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, because it doesn't matter what to next do. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so just have to remember when we end the game that we get that bonus. You want to draw a level two card? I feel like I've been betrayed by level two cards. Level but... three? 
No, take a level two. Okay. Okay. Policy card, support of charitable charitable organizations. Not bad. So yeah, it's gonna drop a crime. I kinda wish we drew an event card to get rid of that. Um Ooh, okay. In in nervous here. I think I need to play this residential zone card. It's gonna drop a power by one. That's fine. Which I'm not too worried about. And then I, if I build this in a spot with a educational facility, we can increase our workforce by two, which is going to help a ton because it's pretty low right now. And the only one I see, actually there's two options. Over there. I'd go over here. Yeah, I think so too. Out. We don't really leave that one open for more stuff. So maybe, uh, this big guy? Yeah, that's just ugly. Let's not do that. This isn't, it doesn't have to be pretty. I know, I know. Let's drop right. this guy there down. There you go. Okay. There you go. So increase our workforce by two. And I'll draw a level two card, hoping for that traffic. Boom! Traffic right. policy. Okay, so I think we need one money at the end of the game to pay for that person that we're going to be off. Yes, unless we fix that somehow. My charitable organization is two money. Okay. Or the police station is two money so i'm just gonna do this one okay so you play this one mm -hmm. so two money drop our crime to zero yes okay and then what car would you like two two okay get this one oh that gives us money it's not bad yeah so now we gotta watch, watch our finances here the policy i have costs two dollars shoot to drop that traffic I could play a card to give us some more money. I almost think we need to do that. I could play like this commercial zone I've been holding on to. Unfortunately, it drops our workforce a little bit lower. Do you have a way of increasing workforce? No, I have, I've not gotten really any residential cards lately. Mm. I could play this residential card. It increases our crime, but also which will decrease our happiness, but also increases our happiness down here. If you play it in this district. Yes, I I would have to play it here, correct. So I and I don't know the order of that actually to be honest, because our crime is at zero. It can't go below zero, so maybe this effect would happen first and then we check for this effect. Because we have to pay for the card first. So I think we lose one happiness. Yeah, we lose one happiness and then gain one happiness in, in the end. So okay. that would, that's an offset. But the nice thing is it does increase our workforce to zero. So that's an option. But you're going to raise our crime and that will lose happiness at the end of the game. Correct. Correct. The problem is we're kind of running out of money at this point. True. I can spend all the money, drop our traffic by two, which is a good, really good card to play, but we're out of money. What do you have as options? Not pretty. Um, I can get a seven money, but we drop workforce by two, increase pollution and traffic. I can get a six money, power workforce by one, pollution by one. I'm going to do that one. Or how about I play this one just to give us some money to, to play with? Is that probably the better bet? Our traffic can be maxed. And then next turn, I can then play. My policy. Okay. Okay with that? My original plan? Sure. Okay, I'll play this commercial zone. Drop our trash. Drop our workforce, unfortunately. Increase our traffic to the max. And then if I build this commercial zone, it has to be... There. Here. Oh, it could be here, too. Nothing's going to fit Nothing's going to fit. Yeah, it's pretty small. Um, okay. I guess I can just put this guy right here. So, because there's one of each district, we get $4 for that one. I'll draw a level two card. Fountain of life and death. All service buildings in this district will cover the entire district. So that's really nice for level one stuff, but we don't really care too much about that now. Okay. So what you got? We need to get our pollution and stuff down. I, we don't have good options. Because I think once we get that managed, we can then end the game. Because right now, we're going to lose a ton of points. I know. You can exchange the card now for $2. 
and then essentially skip my turn, or I still would go? No, you skip your turn. Good. Well, that's not, actually not bad, because I don't have anything that I like to play, because it raises up all the one of the pollution, traffic, or crime things. We have money. Yeah, it's going to go not last very long, though. But yes. You can do that if you want. Yeah, but then we won't have money for me to actually play the garbage. So here's what Correct. I'm oh, no. I think I have to play this industrial zone. It's going to cost us power, a person, and pollution. Power's fine. Person, not great. Pollution, not great. But you do get six bucks. I know. Otherwise, my other cards raise crime, aka then lose happiness, or I lose two people and a pollution. Not ideal, but I think we can work with okay. this. So That's let's what we're try it. Do. So lose that, lose that, gain. And, and if you build it next to maybe in this district or probably can't fit anything no, there. Not fit there. So yeah, it has to be that district. Okay, what's what's small that we got left? Okay. And you get six bucks. And what the pile would like to draw from? Yeah, <laughs> twos. I okay. Ooh, new event. New event. So we get uh, this one goes away, so we can raise crime now. Finally, whenever commercial is built in the district where there are no residentials, you lose two dollars. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, that's cool. We can deal with that. I'll draw another level two. Okay, so I definitely want to play my policy. Spend two dollars to. Have construction of new bike paths, and that's going to drop our traffic by two. So that's all I'm doing. And I'll draw a level two. And uh, it's a water plant. So it's not bad, but not great either. Okay. Steve, I kind of think we just have to end it because I have nothing that helps get us happiness, and I only have stuff that is going to increase the things that would take away happiness in the future. I have nothing to remove any of those bad conditions either. Unless you have like a miracle card that's like, oh wait, if you just make this happen. I have a cemetery I can play to give us some happiness. Um, can you, we do have enough money to offset the workforce. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, it's, it really is just those, the pollution, traffic, and crime. Yeah, and Crime's have, good, so... I have nothing that is going to help us. So we'll lose one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Seven. We're losing seven points if we end it now. If we don't end it now, I can gain us one additional point. Yeah, but every card I have... Either... It hits us at least one happiness... In that sense. Well, but I think this is maybe where we can exchange cards. Because if you if we have enough money, so let's think about this. We currently only need three money set aside, right? So let's mm -hmm. set aside three dollars. That's what we need in our current state to not lose the game. Okay. The extra money, whatever, doesn't matter a whole lot. So you can spend this seven dollars to buy turns essentially to let us get a few more points. I think that's worth it. Okay, I can live with that. So you go ahead and spend two dollars if you don't have anything you want to play, and you can exchange the cards for maybe your landfill. Mm, I need. To, I want something Art. that helps us more. Well. But I have to exchange from that pile. Correct. Oh, then yeah, the landfill would be it. Okay. So then this is a trash card. Okay. So that was my turn. That was your turn. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you just... Or actually, you, you can just put the card down here instead and draw from a pile. Oh, you well, can I add wanna, to it. I want to do that. So you want to draw a level two card? I feel like... It's in there someplace. What am I even looking for at this point? Well, we're looking for the traffic or the pollution. The pollution would be the, the park. park. So those are both on level two deck. And there's not too many cards left. There aren't... Okay, I'm, so I'm I would just going to keep digging. I would dig. Okay, I have a residential zone. Okay. Which is a pretty nice one. So, yeah, it's been water. It's no big deal. If it happens above five, what it is, you get, well, that's, that's good. Yeah. That's quite good. Okay. Okay, cool. So, on my turn, I am going to play my cemetery. 
It's gonna cost us three dollars, unfortunately, but I think it's worth it. Um, now, if I put the cemetery in one of these special buildings, I believe it's the courthouse. Yeah, if I build it in the same district as the courthouse, I can move the marker in additional space. So I, I will definitely do that. So I'll put it right here, and then I can move the happiness up too for that. That seemed worthwhile. Okay. Okay, I did draw a coal pile power plant. It's my another option. All right, so I'm going to play this residential card. So we lose water, trash. Where am I going to put it? You put it anywhere, really. Can I fit this one next to that government building? Nope. Okay. Not. That's way too big. Let's see. You can probably put this guy. Yeah, that guy fits right there. Okay. So um, then if... Happiness is above five, yep. so we gain a person, a happiness, and a dollar. Cool. I'm good, drawing good level two. Residential spot. Not okay. very much. So now we only need two dollars set aside on current state. We have four dollars we can play with. Um... I can increase our utilities if we need to. No. You, just, you mean the power that you just drew? Yeah. No. So I think I might just use my unique building as a placeholder. Lay down the fountain of life and death. And I'll put it here in this corner, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's put in that corner. And so all service buildings in this district will cover the entire district. Not that it matters a whole lot, but yeah. I'll draw a level two card. Nope, nothing okay, useful. See again. Now I'm back to where I was before. But we're in a better condition, I think. We are. So now we're going to be down one, two, three, four, seven. Still seven. You can spend days. two dollars and draw another card. Yeah, I know, but at some point you're going to hit that card. We won't have the money to pay for it. So do you want to try to end the game then? Is that what you're thinking? Yes. So to end the game. The end line, last milestone, all board game pieces must be revealed. May, basically means that all the tiles have to be flipped up. And each district has to have at least two tiles of any kind. So looking across the board, it looks like we satisfy both those conditions. So um, we can go ahead and do that. So let me zoom in. Cannot forget about this card as well? Yes, we can't forget about this card. So let's move this over here and we'll take another look at it. Okay, so first things first, we lose happiness for every utility that's uh, below zero luckily we're not there so we get to transfer all 15 happiness to our overall score so if we do that 10 here and add five more so one two three four five let's see slot the guy in there so currently we're at 43 and then we look at our workforce. Our workforce is at minus two, so I have to spend two dollars. And now because we have this government office at the end of the milestone, we can reduce one of these by one space. So it probably doesn't matter a whole lot, we'll just reduce pollution by one. And now looking at our overall stats down here, we're up by three for pollution and traffic. So that means our total score, we have to reduce by six total. So then we're down to, down to a final score of 37. I feel like that's not super high. So on the back of the rule book, there's a success table. So with a score of 37, that puts us into Showcase City. People like living here. When younger people move away, they later return with their families. So because we're into this green zone, we actually won the game. Kind of. Barely. We made it. Barely won. <laughs> I'll count it. We made it. It's a win. Hope you enjoy our content, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye.